Chapter 2. The Oneness of Allah. The concept of unity and uniqueness of Allah has been copiously described in the Quran. No other book contains such a vivid description. It is the distinctive mark of the Quran that it has expounded the conception in such lucid terms that it influenced the thinking of all the people across the world. It silenced the pleas of polytheism once and for all. No reasonable man could take a stand against monotheism. The Quran definitely elevated and refined the trend of human thinking. This is one of the miracles of Islam. One who believes in religion must necessarily believe in the unity of God. Those who deny religion, really refuse to think consistently. To believe in Allah, and in the unity of Allah, is really the sine qua non of rational thinking. So it is that Islam has been proclaimed by the Quran as the natural, better, way of life. Some verses of the Quran with brief notes are given herewith. Allah is Rabul Alamin. Rab means to nourish and sustain life from beginning to the end and provide adequate nourishment at the various levels of development and evolutionary process. Allah is the Rab of all the universes. It is conspicuous to note that the universe has been used in the plural in the Quran. Allah is Rahim. It implies that in dispensing justice, he demonstrated nothing but mercy. Allah is Maliki Yomid Deen. That is he is the Lord of the Day of Judgment, in other words, he is the master and the maker of all the sequences in this universe and the evaluation of every event is assessed by him accurately. Allah is one and unique. He is self-sufficient, he does not need any person or thing to implement his designs. He neither begets nor is he begotten. Allah is not a biological person. His personality is distinct from all other creatures. There is nothing like unto him. His being, his personality, his entity has no similitude. Allah is one alone. Allah alone is worthy of worship and adoration. Allah is the source of life, and he is ever alive. There is no cessation in his existence. He is the sustainer and cherisher of the entire universe, everything in the universe owes its existence to his benign grace. Time and tedium do not affect him. He is not a biological figure to be affected by conditions and circumstances. Events and changes owe their appearance to his will. Everything in the universe belongs to him, all the creatures owe their existence to him. No one has the capacity to face him. Whatever happens in this universe is within the grasp of his knowledge, he is really the master and the maker of the events. His authority extends over the entire universe, nothing can escape his command. The care and sustenance of the universe is no problem to him. His vigilance is a continuity. He is persona continuum. Allah is the eternal being. He has neither beginning, nor he has an end. He is absolute continuity. The human mind cannot have an adequate grasp of his existence. He is everywhere, he is the appearance, he is the reality. He is the first, he is the last. We must have a belief in his majestic being. We must submit ourselves to his will, expressed through the revelation to the Holy Prophet. To follow the Prophet is to obey Allah. We can appreciate his munificence by his glorious creations. To ponder over the magnificence of nature is a part of our duty. Allah, holds the key of all unseen secrets. He has full knowledge of all that exists on earth or under waters. Even the drop of a leaf from the plant or the growth of a seed in the bowels of the earth are within his sight. All events, sad or pleasant are contained in his book. The movements of the events in the universe are unfolding under his behest. There can be no partner of Allah. 
No one can drop the rains from the sky, the wonderful creation of the earth with seas and mountains could never be designed by any other than Allah. He is the one who cures the pangs of hearts, none else can ever relieve us from pain. He is the one who made navigation on the surface of the seas possible, none else could devise it. He created the universe and provided nourishment for all living beings, none else could ever do it. All the secrets of the heavens and the earth are known to him and none else has the same scope of knowledge.